Wonderful news for the elderly. Veterans, people on SSDI and SSI will receive an additional $943 thanks to a recently passed SSI expansion. This video will walk you through all the steps of this crucial update. We will discuss who is eligible for the additional payments, how to determine your eligibility, and who qualifies for the payments. Timetable for repayment, discover the exact date of payment and the frequency of its delivery. About money, you should be aware of how this additional sum will influence your total benefits and financial status. How to guarantee complete payment, learn the exact steps to do in order to get your $943 paid out without a hitch. An unprecedented extension of supplemental security income see payments has been authorized by the US government, which is expected to have far-reaching effects on the financial situation of millions of American seniors. An additional $943 per month will be paid to eligible seniors as a result of this historic decision, which is one of the largest increases to Social Security benefits in recent memory. A more secure financial future for America's aging population is on the horizon thanks to the expansion, which impacts not only SSI recipients, but also those of those SSDI and VA programs program run by the Social Security Administration has been an essential support system for low-income seniors, those with disabilities, and the visually impaired for quite some time. On the other hand, proponents have maintained for a long time that the benefits offered aren't enough to cover the growing cost of living, particularly in cities where housing is expensive. The recently authorized SSI expansion aims to tackle these problems by significantly raising the amount of the monthly payout. The basic federal SSI stipend gets a huge bump as part of this, in addition to the existing monthly payment of $943. To make sure that benefits stay up with inflation, the expansion also has provisions for more frequent and larger cost of living adjustments. Furthermore, SSI recipients are now able to save more money without having to worry about losing their benefits due to a rise to the asset limit and an increase to the amount of earned income that is not counted for determining benefits, but both of which promote employment without significantly reducing payments. The government's strategy for helping seniors and people with disabilities who are low income has undergone a sea change with these improvements. The expansion stated goal is to provide financial stability and help more people escape poverty by giving a larger safety net. Although there will be many positive outcomes from the SSI expansion, it is essential to know who is eligible to receive the higher payments. There have been some tweaks to the basic qualifying requirements, but overall they are quite comparable to the old SSI rules. Eligibility requirements include being 65 or older, blind or handicapped. To account for the higher payments, the income restrictions have been revised. However, a low income is still required to qualify. Even though there is now a higher cap, recipients must still have very little money to qualify. All applicants must be citizens or lawful permanent residents of the United States or the Northern Mariana Islands or be qualified aliens. You keep in mind that the expansion will also have an impact on people who get SSDI and specific VA benefits. Similar increases to these beneficiaries' monthly payments may be possible, while the precise amounts may differ from program to program and from person to person. Changes to SSDI include longer qualifying periods, higher monthly payouts, and revised significant gainful activity limits. The goal of these changes is to make people with disabilities feel more secure financially and to let those who are able to look for jobs without worrying about losing their benefits right away. There will be beneficial improvements for veterans receiving some VA benefits as a result of this expansion. Among these benefits are possible increases to pensions and disability payments as well as increases to indemnity and dependency compensation for the dependent children and spouses of veterans who died while serving or as a result of a service-connected illness or accident. These adjustments show that we care about helping our nation's veterans get the pay they deserve for all they've done for our country. Such a massive overhaul of social security programs necessitates meticulous preparation and execution. Despite the official announcement and approval of the expansion, updating systems at the Social Security Administration and other pertinent institutions to accept new payment structures would take several months. Official notices will be sent to recipients regarding the changes and their impact. The higher payouts will likely be phased in with SSI recipients receiving them first and then SSDI and VA beneficiaries. The whole extension is expected to take effect between 12 and 18 months after the initial announcement. Opportunities and problems arise for recipients as a result of the large increase in monthly benefits. A substantial boost in monthly income makes it all the more important to re-evaluate spending habits and make prudent use of the windfall. The chance to save for emergencies without sacrificing rewards is presented by the enhanced resource restrictions. This can be a good chance for people with a lot of debt to settle their high interest loans or credit card bills. Healthcare costs such as additional insurance or savings for future medical needs may also be considered by recipients as they allocate some of the higher benefits. Possible uses for the extra cash include saving for potential medical expenses in the future or researching long-term care insurance policies. Many beneficiaries may want to revisit or establish and establish an estate plan in light of the enhanced benefits and perhaps savings. One must be aware of the potential effects of the SSI increase on eligibility for other forms of assistance. The enhanced SSI payments should not impact Medicaid eligibility in many states. Nonetheless, it is recommended checking with local Medicaid offices to be sure. Recipients should contact their neighborhood SNAP office to learn more about how their benefits can change as a result of the rise in income.
The qualifying requirements for programs like Section 8 housing vouchers and LIHEAP, which provides energy assistance to low-income households, may have to be revised in light of the new income thresholds. Beyond the B, immediate impact on beneficiaries, the SSSI expansion is anticipated to have far-reaching economic consequences. Local economies could witness an uptick in consumer spending if elderly and those with disabilities receive more money. With their benefits increased by such a large amount, many people will be able to escape poverty, which might lead to a general decrease in the poverty rate, particularly among the elderly and the crippled. If people are better able to manage their finances, they may have easier access to health care and use emergency rooms less often. Some seniors may be able to upgrade to a better house or make accessibility upgrades thanks to the enhanced benefits. Some recipients may be able to pay for care themselves or send money to loved ones, which would increase demand for home health aids. Advocacy groups have long fought for more assistance for the elderly and people with disabilities, and the approval of this SSI extension is a huge win for them. But for many, this is only the first step towards much needed changes. The current campaign is working to make sure that future cost of living adjustments are fair and take into account the actual costs that seniors and people with disabilities face. It is also working to expand Medicare coverage, find long-term care solutions that don't put seniors in a worse financial position, give family carers more support and recognition, and make sure that people with disabilities and seniors have access to affordable, accessible housing. It is critical to comprehend the application procedure for those who receive SSDI or VA payments and think they might be qualified under the forthcoming expansion. If you are eligible for SSI and SSDI, you can apply through the Social Security Act. You can apply through the Social Security Administration either online or in person. It is common practice to request documentation such as a driver's license, birth certificate, social security number, evidence of residency or citizenship, bank statements and medical records in order to file a disability claim. Through regular mail or by visiting their nearest VA office, discharge paperwork, service treatment records and proof of present health issues are all examples of documents that may be needed. A social worker, veteran service officer or disability attorney can be a great asset to candidates who are seeking assistance with the lengthy and complicated application procedure. There will be questions and misunderstandings as there always are with major policy shifts. Keep in mind that while the SSI expansion shouldn't have any detrimental effect on most other benefits, it's still vital to verify with the program administrators of each specific program. Benefits will continue to grow on a monthly basis, not just in one lump sum, although the raise should be immediately distributed to current beneficiaries. It is always a good idea to stay updated through proper means. It is recommended to get advice from a tax expert on specific cases, but generally speaking, most recipients of SSI and SSDI and SSDI benefits are not required to pay taxes on these payments. While 65 is still the minimum age to apply for Supplemental Security Income SSI, a person's handicap may allow them to qualify even if they are younger than 65. There is a growing emphasis on using technology to make SSI more accessible and easier to use for recipients as the expansion is implemented. Improving online account management, creating mobile apps that are easy to use, automating income reporting, making sure all digital platforms are accessible, and starting digital literacy programs to help seniors and people with disabilities feel more at ease, using digital tools for benefits management are all part of this. There will be a greater demand for community support and resources due to the SSI expansion. Financial literacy programs, peer support groups, improves improved community transportation, and more meal delivery and communal dining alternatives are all ways that communities may have a big impact. The extension of SSI can have